All right, it's mid-June, it's off season, and our probably biggest focus this off season has been to get our blinds and stands, some of them a little farther off the food. Food plots are awesome, they're great, we got lots of them. It's just sometimes we've been guilty, I know a lot of people are guilty sometimes of hunting right on them. And this year we're trying to focus on hunting transitions between them or even transition to them. Uh, this particular spot here we're working on today, we got the chainsaw running in the back, we rented this mulcher. We're simply going to be hunting a mowed trail, travel lane from one clover plot to a future probably clover plot with some rye in it over here. The old blind was right on the two and a half acre plot, educates the deer over time no matter what you do. So this year we're pretty excited, we've got these transitional spots lends itself to get in and out easier. Deer shouldn't be parked eating in front of you and when they travel through they should, if you do it right, be in bow range. So food plot's great, awesome, but try to think of it as use them as destinations sometimes, sometimes as small travel corridors, but remember wherever you're hunting you need to also get out of there. So keep that in mind on your size, shape, and uh, where your stands are in relation to the plots. We got the heat of June right now, but in just really about four to six more weeks, we need to be focusing on our big and beastie plantings. It'll be here before you know it. Don't wait till the last minute to get the seed. Um, you know, we, we've got certain situations. We like to overseed the beans a lot. We have new plots that we put in with a, as a kind of use the big and beastie as a nurse crop for clover. That works great. You can just do big and beastie all by itself. So. Be thinking about that, it's uh, not that far away.